For this video, we're going to talk about using the GRASS method for word problems. First, I'm going to go through the acronym of what GRASS stands for, and then we'll do an example together. All right, so the G stands for given information. This is all the information that's in the question or with the image that goes with the question. You're going to want to record all of the information that's given to you. R stands for required information. This is what the question is asking. What is the information that they're looking for? A is apply. It's a fancy word for show your work. This is how you're going to use, you're going to show how you use your given information to find the required information. The first S is solution. It's the answer. You have to have an answer to the question. And the last S is state. This is where you state your answer in a sentence that answers the question. All right, so let's go through a question together. Here's a question that we had in class. Uh, what is the area of the paved surface? And with the question comes a diagram. So first we want to look at the, the, the diagram and look at what information is being given to us. And the first thing you want to do is you want to put in any missing information to kind of help yourself along. So the information that you add to it, it isn't given information. You've added it. Uh, but it just kind of helps when you're trying to solve the, problem, the, the question. So we know we're missing a dimension over here. We know that this, uh, this side is of equal length, so we can add that dimension, 50 meters. Um, we're missing a dimension here. Uh, we know that we have the length up here, the full length of that side is 85 meters. Uh, we have some dimensions down here. So if I take this one and subtract these two numbers, I'm going to get this length here, which is... 67 meters, so I know that from here to here is also 67 meters, and this is the area that I'm trying to find. That's the required information. Okay, so let's go through the GRASS method. G is the given information. So we're looking for the paved area. Remember, we were given the width. It was 16.5 meters. But that's all we were given. We found this out on our own, so it isn't included in the given information. Now, sometimes for questions, you're going to have a lot of given information, and you're going to want to record all of that down. We didn't record the other dimensions of the grass or things like that because it's not necessary information for what is our required information, which is the area. We're looking for the area of the paved area, so we, the paved surface, so we don't need the other dimensions. All right, so next we're at apply, where we're going to demonstrate how we found our answer. So I know that I'm looking for area, and area equals length times width. I did find the length, but I want to demonstrate how I did that. So I used length, remember, we used the length of this side, minus this, minus this, which gave us this dimension. And I show that here. Length equals 85 minus 10 minus 8 equals 67 meters. The width was given to me, so I can just put it there. Then I go for my required information. Area equals length times width equals 67 times 16.5. So my solution, or my answer, is 1,105.5 meters squared. So I show how I use my given information to find my required information and come up with my answer. And the last step is state your answer. Put your solution into a sentence. Therefore, the total area of the paved surface is 1,105.5 meters squared. Remember that symbol stands for therefore, and you can use that in your statement of your answer. And that's how to use the GRASS method to solve a word problem.